time. Oh, so sensitive, they even react to a wet butt. <laughs> Freddie, don't get the baby wet. What? <laughs> These people are floor testers for the Balsa Floor Company, and this floor has to be sent back. <laughs> Here in Transylvania, another vampire bites the dust, but he manages to get in one last shot. Hey! <laughs> Boy, is she gorgeous. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are you okay? Is who okay? What happened? You, you were walking along, you saw a beautiful girl, you hit a pole and you fell down. I fell down? Yeah, and stay down, because she's coming back. Who's coming back? Forget it. I'll take her on a date and tell you all about it. Tell me about what? Person. It's just best to go shirtless and carry a big stick. <laughs> hey, Armando, show us your new equilibrium license. <laughs> okay, honey, now I'm going to teach you to putt just like Lee Trevino. Now keep your legs apart like that. Now, very important to remember, almost as important as your follow-through, you got to have a good backswing. We're nearly there. I hope I'm not left at the oak tree. Uh, did you just say turn left at the oak tree? Oh, no! <laughs> Speech so boring, they decided to do anything but listen. Wait a minute. And here they are doing anything but listening. I can shake my shapely butt. Now I must think of something insulting to say to the bull. Are those your horns or have you just eaten a hat rack? <laughs> I am the master of, I am a genius of comedy. I am, whoa, whoa, down boy, nice bull, nice bull, please. Please, oh, let go. Whoa, I can't take it. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, no, no, my pants, my pants. Oh, come back, come back, come back with my pants. Oh, yeah, you can keep them. Look at me. I don't need pants. I am a fool. Diddly diddly dee, I'm as stupid as can be. Why does this happen? 
volume one, Pants Problems. Surgeon, I believe the explanation for why pants fall down is based on the anatomy of the torso. The uh, normal torso is shaped like an hourglass. If the uh, waist expanded, you would have a cone shape, and uh, I believe it would be the explanation for why pants in this anatomic condition uh, would fall down. <laughs> stability indicator here is the belt buckle. If it points to the sky, there's no problem. If it points to the toes, watch out. <laughs> According to scientific principles, pants must fall down. I mean, they can't fall up. That would violate the law of gravity. <laughs> Ask me. It's a kind of a subconscious, passive-aggressive way to have the pants drop, draw attention to themselves, away from the bride, away from the groom, away from the corpse, and get that desperately needed attention. It is a very perverse psychological process. Alternatively, they might have popped a button. Seven finalists, and we've already seen three of them. So if we take three... Santa claustrophobic. Carlos Jones with alphabets. here. <laughs> now we come to the pivotal moment when this tuxedo makes sense. Don't let him spray too much. It's probably getting in here. Michael, honey, listen. You can't spray too much when you get in the door, okay? <laughs> Flag football, it's a well-known fact. And if you want to stop the play, you pull off the flag. And if you want to stop the game, you pull off the pants. 
This is why parents shouldn't videotape their sons on the field, because they're just not paying attention to the other players. Here comes a major play. Kent Cascio just made a sweep around the right for a 15-yard gain and a date with one of the cheerleaders. Okay, team, now go out there like champions and make me proud. On three, one. the barrel and while you're at it get this guy the staple gun <laughs> okay yeah you trumpet player yeah it's time for your sound check okay give me a low note lower lower <laughs> this kid's playing the jingo bell drop That's right, Superman. You saved Lois. You caught the bad guys. Now what? Uh, I'm gonna take flying lessons. Can you see him? Can you see him? with their first exercise tape for overweight ostriches. Now raise those wings, now push. No pain, no gain. Now feel the burn, now feel the burn. Now buck your feathers if you haven't pushed. Now lift, now try, now try. Now, try. now push, now push. Hey, lady, buy me, buy me. I'm the only one left in the pet store. Wait a minute, don't go away. I'll be your best friend. I'll bring you the paper and your slippers. Come on, lady, what do you say? Come on, this is embarrassing. I gotta find a home. I love your sweater. Oh, God, take me home, country roads. Who's the guy with a camera, your husband? Sorry to hear that. Can't say it enough. This is Smokey being sworn in just before they gave him his ranger hat. I promise to be a good bear and serve my public and prevent forest fires. So help me, Yogi. Hey, kid, how about divvying up those cheese puffs? Yeah, 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 that's it, thanks. One, two, three, four. I gotta have some more. Let's see, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I want more, you little cheapskate. Come on. And she said, well, what are you gonna do? And I said, well, first, what I'm gonna do is I've gotta get a sling made for your foot. And I've gotta go through this thing so that you can get onto this hammock and we can go through this program and get you out of the mountain. Now, this is noon. We put her in an ambulance, and I must have had someone who used to run whiskey in the mountains down there drive this ambulance. So for an hour and a half, there, Gary, now you've got it. Now I'm ready to talk about sports medicine. By the time we were done, hey, something else came off. You know what I forgot to put on? And ladies, I apologize. I will just have to pull it off. There. Okay. I was supposed to have shorts on this morning, and I forgot those. Hey, um, look, guys, I don't want to bother you, but I'm the ring bearer, and I, I, I lost the ring. I'll find it. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe it's up here. Nope. Maybe I should get a metal detector. Okay. Wait a minute. Extreme close up. <laughs> you think this is bad? You should have seen him at the rehearsal.
bride is dancing with a little groom from the top of her wedding cake. Now she has to take him back to the kitchen and put him on the third tier. Dust bunnies under their bed, they cling to them to the very last moment. Some kids follow instructions to the letter. Keep your eye on the ball, Chase. Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> this kid's going early for the hand-me-downs. Played many pranks, like the guy who put a stuffed deer head in his wife's bed. <laughs> Others were just plain out surprised. <laughs> Some were even caught in a teensy weensy little fib. I ate five of carrots and five of celery. You're not lying to me, are you? No. Oh, you're lying to me. Okay, now, you remember the guideline. Prima ballerina, tough noogies girls, you'll never be able to dance like this. <laughs> Here at this busy pedestrian crosswalk, we see the importance of always keeping to your right. Here's a ballerina who's pirouetting her way into the hearts of the guys in the front row. Deanna Boak of Jarvis, Ontario, is a ballerina wannabe. If the Royal Academy is watching, I'm sure they're going to want her home phone number. You might think this is weird to be doing this. After I build up my muscles with this equipment, everything feels stronger, even the hair on my chest. This is living proof that two kids can share one bike without getting into a fight. One, Bowser's put on a few extra pounds this holiday, so he's working out to be able to chase the neighbor's cat come spring. to get this honey but i don't have time to play i have got to hang up these clothes so we won't be able to play croquet today Is that okay 
simple no would have been fine. Now tell me your idea, son. Well, Dad, I'm gonna hit you in the face with a wiffle ball, and that'll make you fall over the soccer ball. Oh, oh I'd love to see that. Oh. <laughs> Honey, come on over here and show me your new unbreakable toy. <laughs> Boy, I've got a brush, and I'm gonna brush my daddy's hair. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, gee, look, Daddy, there's some hair sticking up there. I can't seem to get it to lie down. Lie down here, lie down. Hmm, I can fix that. There! <laughs> Time Norman exercises his dog and gives him a bath at the same time. <laughs> Once again, through the miracle of technology, we can actually listen to this dog's thoughts. Pushing a kid, I'm pushing a kid, pushing a kid, pushing a kid, pushing a kid, pushing a kid. This is more fun than pushing a rock. Pushing a kid, pushing a kid, pushing a kid. Come on, come on, tell me where the water dish is. Tell me where it is. You'll knock it off. Shut up, stupid. It's right up your nose. Look. What is it now, Rover? You wanted some exercise, I took you for a walk. You had an itch, I got your flea collar. You wanted a nice toy, I got you a rubber ball with a bell in it. Gosh, darn it, what more do you want, Rover? Oh, uh, I'm thinking. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Excuse me. You know, actually, could you get me some of those crackers with liver paste on them? Quiet, here she comes. Boy, is she gonna be surprised. <laughs> this is a very special birthday cake. It gets 23 miles to the gallon. Oh, I'm so nervous. I've never jumped out of a cake before. But what could go wrong? Who tied my shoelaces together? Whoa! 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 Okay? Hey, Zach, to hit the pinata, you just follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> Little Joshua might only be four, but he's got the resourcefulness of a five and a half year old. Ryan Scholes of Mount Vernon, Washington, has a dramatic reaction to his Christmas gift. Oh. Whoa, oh, it's a dinosaur! dinosaur. A dinosaur! Oh. 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 I don't like dinosaurs! I don't like dinosaurs, do you? Brad McElwee of Greensboro, North Carolina, is waiting for the count of three to see what Santa's brought him. One, two, 
one, two, three. Perez gets a team jacket. <laughs> Little Matilda tests her new toy. Dot of Asbury, Missouri, even loves the boxes gift came in. <laughs> and Mary Ellen of Louisville, Kentucky, is about to get the best Christmas gift of all. on the approach to the vaulting horse. <laughs> Jenny's going north. Sally's going west. And Mary's going south. <laughs> this is little Mary Beth. None of her friends return her calls anymore because she's always hanging up on them. <laughs> this guy is so happy about his date with the head cheerleader, he's out of control. <laughs> Attention scouts of all ages and waist sizes. A fabulous beauty pageant. Oh, there's Bert Parks. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. I gotta see Bert. Excuse me. Hey, Bert, you're a call. What do you think? Matt, mm. nah. okay, boys, we're playing for sweaters. Uh, it's my shot, little girl in the side bucket. Matt, nah. she's in. Mr. Rooster, you want to come meet my uncle, the Colonel? <laughs> well, you'd look good with some mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Knock it out of the door! Come back here, kid, you shredded wheat! Here's an Australian who's just about to get it from down under. What are you talking about? You're doing a good job. off this light now. I can't hold on. How many times did I tell you to quit hanging on that light? Just get me some help. Lydia, can you come in here and help Dave off the light? <laughs> What's, What's he, he doing? doing? By the way, that room was... <laughs>